MathTutor.biz and MathDVDs.co.uk Foundation Mathematics. Lesson 1, Part 1. In this lesson on number, we're going to be looking at digits, what are digits, and we're going to be looking at place value. What are digits? Well, these are digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And we also include 0, or 0, although some people argue about whether 0 is a digit. But we need to include that to you know, make our numbers up. These are the digits, and from these digits we can make numbers. Next, what is place value? Each digit has a value, and its value depends on the position in the number. We call this place value. So let's consider the digit 3. As it stands, it is not only the digit 3, but the number 3. However, if we write it like this, we get the number 30. This is because the 3 is in the tens column and the 0 is in the units column. So in other words we have 3 lots of 10. And the 3 lots of 10 is 30. So the digit 3 in this position gives you the number 30. Now let's look at this. The 3 now is in the hundreds column. So in other words, we have got 3 lots of 100. And 3 lots of 100 is 300. So the digit 3 in this position gives us the number 300. So the place value of the 3 is 300. We can go on one more column for now anyway. Look at the 3 in the next column. And the next column is the thousands column. So we've got 3 lots of 1000, which is 3000. So the digit 3 can have different values depending on which column it's been placed under. So that gives us place value. Let's look at these columns again. We've got the units getting larger, the tens larger, the hundreds larger, the thousands, and larger again, the tens of thousands. Now these columns don't stop, they carry on actually forever. Let's just consider the next column. If this is the tens of thousands column, this will be the hundreds of thousands column. After the hundreds of thousands column, we actually have the millions column. We can abbreviate these columns, in other words write them shorter, by just using some letters. So instead of units, we can write just the letter U. Tens the letter T, hundreds, the letter H, thousands, the letter T and H, and tens of thousands, well we'll have to do it something like this, T, T and an H. So we've got the hundreds, tens and units, the most commonly known ones, hundreds, tens and units, but we can see our other columns building up units, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and millions. So let's put a digit under there. Let's put the digit 6, and we'll put it there. It's a 6 in the thousands column. But we have to fill in the other spaces with zeros, or noughts, to give us the 
place value of 6. So we can now read this as 6,000. Let's put some other digits underneath. Let's put these digits, 4, 5, 4, and 2. Now these digits, 4, 5, 4, and 2, make a number. And this number we need to be able to read. And we read it by looking at the columns that each of the digits are under. So this number will be 4,500. And 42. 4,542. Let's look at another number by putting the digit 5 in that column, 6 in that column, 8 in that column, and we'll have a 1 in that column and a 1 in that column. So let's see what number these digits read. Let's read this number. So we've got 5 ten thousands. 6,000, 800, a 10, and a unit. Now, how are we going to read that? Well, we actually read this as 56,811. We need to be able to read these numbers formed by different digits. That can be a bit difficult at times. That's the end of Lesson 1, Part 1.